I ran into this question. I thought it was really creative. So let me share it with you as a review. I think it's a really good one. Check it out. You get a quadratic equation above. And the solution to this given equation is the square root of k minus 1. What is the value of k? The first thing that I was thinking is that if they give me a radical solution to this quadratic equation, then you got to assume that this is not going to be factorable, which it isn't. So we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. My a, b, and c are going to be the numbers in the front. My a is the coefficient next to x squared. b is going to be the coefficient next to x. And c is my constant. Let's go ahead and pop those in. That's going to be negative b, so negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 2 squared, minus 4ac, 4 times 1 times negative 1, all over 2a, 2 times 1. We can simplify that further and we'll get negative 2 plus or minus. They call the stuff inside the square root the discriminant. 2 squared is just 4. All of these is going to be a positive 4. So 4 plus 4 is going to be 8. All over 2 times 1, which is going to be 2. The second thing you got to know about this question is that you have to know how to simplify that discriminant. How to simplify radicals. So let's take the square root of 8 on the side. The square root of 8, you're going to have to think of factors of 8 that are perfect squares. So square root of 8 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And why does that help? You split this up with the perfect squares, then we can get whole numbers out of there. So the square root of 8 simplifies to 2 root 2. Let's rewrite it once again. We got a lot of 2's in there and we can actually simplify this even further. First, let's write the two solutions. So that splits up into two answers of that quadratic equation, which is negative 2 plus 2 root 2 over 2. And the other one is negative 2 minus 2 root 2 all over 2. I'm almost done. Stick with me and you'll see how creative this was. The first answer, we can split up this division right here. This right here turns to negative 1 and the 2's cancel out. So we're left with just root 2. Same thing on the right side split up that division, which turns into negative 1 minus the square root of 2. Some of you guys can see the answer already. So in the answer, they put the square root term first. So if I flip flop these, it's the same thing as square root of 2 minus 1. This one's going to be negative root 2 minus 1. Now we just got to match that up where the square root is the positive 1. So the value of k ends up being 2. All that work just for that one problem. Hopefully this was a good review for you. If it was, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.